So in this demo, we're going to continue and show you what Web Center can do for an ADF application. So in this case, we have a regular ADF application uh, that's not a Web Center portal one. And what I'm going to show you is that if you click on the View Controller project, go into Project Properties and into the JSP Tag Libraries, you'll see that you're now able to add a bunch of Web Center types of component to your page. And in this demo, we're going to use the customizable components and just add them to the page like that. So we'll go and now create a new JSF page. Keep it simple. And on this page, we're going to start by using regular um, ADF layout components. So I always like to start my page with the decorative box. I'm um, just to set it to some color scheme like that. And then I'm going to show you that you can actually switch here and look up the composer components. Okay. And I'm going to take a panel customizable, put it in here. And inside it, I'm going to put one, two, three boxes like that. Okay. Um, so you can see the structure over here. Um, if you're really interested, you can also go over and populate them with some data. So you can put, for example, a form for departments up here. And a form for jobs over here, for example. Like that. Okay, so that's your basic structure. Okay, and you can see just like any other JSF component, this one has capabilities uh, in terms of uh, properties that you can turn on and off, like that. Okay, same thing goes for your um, show detail frame. So you might want to check this section over here of actions and just say um, what you want to allow or not allow. Okay, um, like that for example. Okay, so let's save everything and run our page. So when the page comes up, you have the boxes over here, and the one interesting thing that you can do with those boxes is you can actually move them around, like that. Okay, so just drag and drop and move them. You can only also move them from here, so you can say move this one down. The other thing that you can do is you can actually resize them, like that. Okay. So the moving around is something that you can achieve with normal IDF faces component and the panel dashboard component. The resizing is kind of unique over here. Okay, you can also completely remove one of them, like that, so it's gone. So that's some of the capabilities that you can add to your application, ADF application, by adding the Web Center components. Now if you're actually looking into um, an application that is fully um, Web Center portal application, you can actually use some other components as well and do some more amazing things. So let's go over and create a new JSF page here. I'm sorry. We're going to place this page inside our um, portal infrastructure. So that's actually under the Oracle Web Center portal app pages okay. and we call this runtime customization click OK oh actually we're going to use the page template for our portal application 
and we're going to now start the page again with the composer component but inside here you can see that we actually have a little bit more in terms of options right so one of the things we have is something called the layout customizable component we're going to take this and bring it over to the page okay and we can decide what type of customization do we offer here so let's start with a two column okay layout and then inside it we can start to put things like um, a panel customizable and again put some show detail frames inside that panel customizable. In this case I'm not going to bother with actually putting data in there, it's just, we'll just try and focus on those things. Uh, we can put other stuff inside the boxes, so like a button over here or again any any ADF faces component that you would like. So. Um, let's say another um, choose date component in here just so we'll be able to more easily distinguish between those pages All right so again to add it to our portal we're going to open the pages XML file which is basically our menuing option and we're going to add a new page called the runtime customization page to be the third page in this application go and click save and now we're going to run our portal application. So again, go to the project and click run. So again, when this page comes up, it's part of the portal application. So we are actually going to log in as a user with privileges. Okay. So when the page comes up, you can see there's a new button over here, and this one is called Change Layout. And you can choose other types of layouts, for example, like a three-column layout, okay? And then you can start to drag components and position them in other places on the page, okay? And again, those changes are done dynamically at runtime, okay? So you can, for example, switch to a layout like this, okay? and again resize item and move them around. So this is one nice aspect of um, runtime layout customization of pages and as you can see it uh, very much aligns itself with the notion of portal where you have little portlets with information that you can arrange on your page uh, in any way that you want.